Hey, welcome to my crib. Come on in. All right, so this is my humble abode. We're at the Homewood Suites here in Chicago. And I'm gonna whip up my last meal of the day. We just got in last night. Well, it's Wednesday now, so Tuesday. And uh, so today's been pretty mellow. Just been getting all of my, you know, the important stuff. My olive oils, my seasonings, my nut butters. Did all the grocery haul today. Got all my proteins, we guys wanna check it out. This random bag with one piece of chicken. <laughs> piece of chicken in it. Okay. Just getting situated, that's all today was really about was just kinda of getting dialed in. And then uh, we'll kinda of start rolling into the rest of the trip tomorrow. Um, but for now I need to get some rice going. That's another thing I had to do, I had to buy a rice cooker. Honestly, these things, I mean, this rice cooker was 22 bucks, dude. So anybody that's out traveling, I know I see a lot of people go and dump money on a bunch of rice packets and it's just not necessary. When this is 20 bucks and then this right here was like six bucks. Yeah, that's I mean, this 26 bucks, this will give me rice for a fucking month. This is my measuring cup, it came with the rice cooker, but whatever. <laughs> this thing, I can actually do three cups of rice in here. No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gosh. Does it overflow at all? No. <laughs> all right. Three cups of rice. I'm going to give this a quick rinse. Mm. Mm. There's no one else. So that's three cups of rice. Now we're gonna do four cups of water. Oh, whoop. <laughs> three. This thing's so ghetto. Yeah. That's that max capacity, but it works. Flip it down to cook. That'll be ready in about three hours. Honestly, this thing's kind of a piece of shit. It takes way longer than it should. Okay, so I'm gonna get my next meal going. Right now we're being uh, very precise with the water. So I'm gonna measure out my water. So we've been doing like water loading for the last like 10 days. It's been like seven liters all the way up until today. And then today we've been doing 14 ounces in between meals and then eight ounces with meals. So we're just being very calculated with the water and uh, slowly tapering down up until show day. That way we can have just full control of everything. And along with that, we're measuring sodium, salt intake, and uh, just making sure that these variables are all consistent. We're eight fluid ounces. Eight point one. Okay, I'll forgive myself the point one. <sighs> Precious water. And as you guys see, I also have all of my health subs here. This is a bit of a, a mess, but I have essentially the whole health essentials line from HD Muscle. So this stuff comes to me everywhere I go. Honestly, anytime I'm traveling. I'm never gonna spend a day where I'm not taking my kidney supplements, my liver supplements. I'm always gonna have my digest aid, the, the betaine HCL, curcumin, awesome for inflammation. I make sure to take that every single night. Omegas, and then of course, the sleep HD. This stuff is paramount, especially in a contest prep setting where you know, essentially you're just going to bed starving every night. Every night I go to bed, I'm fucking hungry and it's hard to fall asleep when you're hungry and you're just thinking about not just food, but like the prep, dieting, you get anxious about the show. My mind just tends to run. So if you guys are like that, and at night you're struggling to sleep, it's a really good supplement. So I'm a simple guy. I didn't do, so usually I'd be like, you know, ordering cookies or like fucking ice cream and all these fancy things that grab your eye on Instagram. I know you know the, the shit, all the stuff mm -hmm. on TikTok. Mm -hmm. I went classic. The only mm. shopper got me this. This this I didn't actually order, but I don't know. Maybe these will be good. They're pretty good. Have you had these? <laughs> yeah. Are they good? 
pretty okay, good. Okay, they look, they look pretty good. I didn't even mean to get these, but I'm okay with it. So I just went with Reese's Big Cup. It's a classic. And then Double Stuff Oreos. Iconic. It's simple stuff. But I also, I like the white chocolate. I don't know. Comment white chocolate <laughs> if you're a white chocolate lover. <laughs> And I also lied. Okay, I got something else. I got this. Ooh. This is the cheesecake topped. Cheesecake ice cream with raspberry swirls, graham pieces topped with a white chocolatey ganache. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> and crab cracker crumble. Oh, a chocolatey ganache. Did you hear it? Yeah, I hear it. It's cracking. Yeah, there's some, <laughs> there's some graham cracker in there. And then you know what? Fuck, okay. And I'm like, I didn't get much. It's really not that much. Tray for churros. This is the churro buttery cinnamon mm. ice cream with churro pieces and crunchy cinnamon swirls. I love a good cinnamon that sounds good. churro. That's oh, awesome. So I kind of thought, you know, hear me out here. I kind of thought this raspberry cheesecake, if I take the double stuff Oreos and you go in like an Oreo raspberry cheesecake, I thought that'd be really good. So that was kind of my thought process there. Gross plotting. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna listen. I plan on winning this fucking show, and then from there I'll be prepping for the Olympia. So I'll have like this really small window where I can fuck off for a day or two or whatever. Mm -hmm. The night of the show, maybe the next day, and then it's back to work. Regardless, it's one of those things where you guys, you know, you think that you're gonna have this desire to eat constantly. It's never gonna go away. But you find on the back end of these shows, you'll have a pint of ice cream, some cookies. And then by that Monday, Tuesday, or myself at least, I'm just like fucking, I feel sick, I'm ready to go. I'm ready mm -hmm. to lock in. You just wanna get back to normal. You start getting some digestive issues and it just stops being worth it. And um, as professionals, we have to be focused on our craft. So that takes priority. Okay, so we're doing 220 grams of beef. And then we're going to add that asparagus. I've got one in the microwave right now. And then I'm actually going to pan fry everything and make it taste better because I don't like using microwaves because I'm bougie and I want it to taste better. And you guys know I want to get a good sear on my rice, all that fun stuff. So, you know, every time you come into these fucking places, look at these spoons. Are they tiny? Fucking baby spoon. Oh, God. Look at this thing. What and got? The big nice spoon. big pink spoon. This thing's sick. So I got a pink spoon and then I got a big ass bowl. Big spoon, big bowl. This is key. So I think this will be a good fun video for me. Pro tip, drain the asparagus. fucking hot. Otherwise I'd just like grab the bag or something but burn myself. In case you guys are wondering why I'm being so dainty. Ow. 53 grams. Hold on. Perfect. Now hand fry this up. Mix this all up nicely. Let it get a little bit of a sear going, and that'll be it. Okay, that's gonna be the last meal of the night, you guys. I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna get to bed, I gotta get rested, I gotta sleep, so I can go win a goddamn bodybuilding show. All right, I appreciate you guys watching. Use my code Shire10 on HD Muscle, use my code Shire10 trainbyjp.com. Best apparel, best supplements. All the best stuff. What more do you want? All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.